Welcome guys. Hi Ketan. How are you? I'm doing good. How has it been? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, doing all the activities, going through of what we've been talking about in the last few weeks. Yes. Any, any, anything that you guys would want to share in what's coming to your mind? One thought is, uh, you uh, you asked us to remember our e codes every time. Uh, so I found out one uh, uh, hack. Uh, so every every time I enter office, I have to swipe and I have to pull the door. So while pulling the door, I actually try to remember my e codes, saying that one of my e codes is uh, not that uh, if one is strong in technology doesn't mean that he should earn money. So. I actually tell that because I am in a technological atmosphere. I actually pull the door and say that word, and that gives you a massive energy. Wow! I mean, that helps me to remember. So every day, I pull the door, say my e code, and then enter. So in that sense, I am actually trying to apply that. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah it's working. Possibly. Yes. Yes. Great. Even Thank though so I don't much. remember, once I enter, I feel like something I have missed because every day is to tell and then open the door. Be wondering that what is he doing once he's holding the door? Is he, is he, is he reciting some kind of a mantra or something like that? Is this just be aware that nobody yeah, is. Yeah, I, I don't decide it now. But good, good. Uh, so we have uh, till now covered, uh, I am taking you through a process of uh, self discovery, which is who am I? Uh, we, we went into the wheel of life, we wanted to also, I also took you through the process of uh, understanding the baseline. Uh, then we uh, covered about the end quotes and the close quotes. They say is one of the uh, off the entire process, something that I, I really think is extremely powerful. Uh, a lot of hard conditioning that we've gone to possibly get some issue that. And uh, this week, what we're going to do is uh, focus a lot on what we want to achieve. Now, if you, if you look at the overall process, what I'm essentially trying to do is we started from where we are. Uh, it's now extremely important as for us to figure out where do we want to be. Until the time we decide what, where we want to be, our outcomes, our actions, our results, our, our efforts will not be measurable. Right? Typically, say the goal or the target, uh, if you're both involved, you've been hearing about that word. Uh, what we call that as an outcome. Right? Outcome is far more involving as a word and something that again rests on you to ensure that it happens. So uh, this week, uh, the agenda that we're going to cover is about outcomes. Uh, if we don't take action, if we don't uh, decide on where we want to reach, uh, this process will not work. So extremely, extremely uh, important, a uh, lot of action orientation and something with where you need to own up what you uh, want to do and the things that are happening. Right, so uh, what I am going to do is, uh, uh, you, you have your notebooks, now uh, write down 50 outcomes right, that you Think you want to do in next five to ten years time. Don't don't put a time horizon into that. It could be big, small, crazy, unusual, unheard of. But think like a child, right? Don't don't limit yourself. Uh, this is where you are. Or have you tried this? Have you succeeded? Really? It doesn't matter. Fifty things that you want to do. Fifty outcomes that you want to happen in your life. Uh, if if you want, you can connect back to the uh, uh, kind of rocking chair activity that we did, where you wanted to see how where do you see yourself uh, five years from now. Uh, another interesting way to look at this is you can look at the wheel of life, right? And pick up the there is a financial there is a relationship. That also helps a lot of people structure their thought. Fifty is what we are looking at. You can follow the wheel of life. You can uh, go back to the rocking chair. You can just be like a child. Go back fifteen years uh, when when you were a kid and list down all the dreams and the aspirations that you have. So take about five ten minutes from that, and whatever comes to your mind, write. Don't overthink. Let it flow. Uh, once you're done, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably uh, talk to you about it. And I have a one question here. Like, uh, when we are just writing this, all these goals, uh, if we write something which is related to our lifestyle, is it okay? Can I include that in my goal list? Explain that a bit. Like, uh, say, suppose now I'm, a, I'm not a morning person, and I really and badly want to be a morning person. So, that is one of my. Uh, sure, it has to be. Okay. Anything that you want to, any aspiration, any future state that you want to be in, is how you can put a process in that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and if, if morning is something that you're really, really willing yes. to, yes. Uh, there's a book that I recommend, The 5 a.m. Club. Sure. Yes, a hold of that. There is an app also, it's by Gordon Sharma. I've been practicing that. Sure. Uh, that morning time, I pray very much. But that book is going to help you uh, possibly 
build that you know, more I have it, but extremely powerful. Thank, thanks yeah. for the suggestion. Go on, write it down. Once you're done, give me a tip. Of course, in the beginning it was difficult as Rakesh told, but uh, you you actually told an easier method to look into the wheel of life and then start writing. Sure. So that actually made a little bit easier. The work was a little bit easier. So, but still, I could come up with only 35 goals. No worries. So see, this is you know, something, something that life does to us. Correct. Now, if you ask a child uh -huh. of their 50 dreams, they possibly talk about life. Right? Our life, as we go ahead, we, we tend not to think much. We get uh, a lot of uh, control and probably governed by the external factors. We think, this is a crazy idea. I can't even think of that. I can't think of yeah. climbing a Mount Everest and so on and so forth. But uh, this is a journey which is, uh, or a tool, or, or a or session which actually helps you to play like right? that. So, good you have that. Uh, now, uh, what I also wanted to do is, uh, it, the outcome of this exercise is for us to arrive at one hour from that, you essentially want to pick up right, and see how powerful this tool is. And I want you to experience in terms of uh, how you actually can take ownership and through a process reach the outcome that you desire. Uh, there are two steps that you need to do now. Against this 35 or 50 that you're doing, just uh, write down the one year goals, three year goals, five year goals, five, uh, five plus year goals separately. When I say write down, just towards the right hand side of their mark, is it a three year goal, is it a one year goal, is it a... And that's the first response what you get. So you want to do this, you want to buy a house, you want to do that in one year, three year, five year, just, just write it down along the right side. And uh, after you've done that, look at the uh, year one, right? The one that you believe and what you, something that you want to do in the first year. Pick a, uh, just go through them and give me top three, right, right. that you want to do right now. Okay. So re reiterate of that 50, segregate that into one year, three year, five year and five year plus. Once you're done that, just pick up the one year. And from that, the top three that connects most to you in terms of if you have to pick three, which three would be, just highlight that in the graph and once you're done, uh, uh, we'll talk about the next sure. <coughs> Like you could answer those? Yes. Yes. You want to talk about share with us the top three outcomes that you have picked for yourself? Yes. Uh, as I was sharing a few minutes back, uh, my first outcome and which I want badly is uh, getting up at 5 a.m. daily and getting my sleep cycle right and my morning rituals right. So this is what I am aiming at. These are three. This is one. This is one. Sorry. This is one. Okay. So the second one would be uh, to complete 50 self-help books on the topics of people, relationship, and mindset. 50 self-help books. Picking. Yes. When you say picking, uh, books. identifying or reading or finishing or Finishing. Decide. Finishing. Okay. Okay. And uh, the third one is, uh, I want to become an Instagram influencer in this niche. In, uh, you want to become a? Uh, Instagram influencer. And ah. uh, come up with my own video series, uh, own story series, or a 21 day challenge, something like that. So related to the niche which I picked in the second outcome. So that is my third. So once I finish the book, then and I these are your one year uh, outcome. One year outcome. Yeah. Interesting. Good. Now uh, one of the biggest difficulties that typically could have is now if I if I tell you choose one from this, uh, okay. uh, what would you do and how would you go about it? Uh, I think uh, the second one and third one requires a little bit of effort. So I think if I get the first thing right. I would, I would be getting a ample amount of time to do second and third very efficiently is what I feel. So at this moment, I rather prefer the first option to move in. Sure. Uh, uh, 
Uh, is there a linkages? I think it, yes. your answer is possibly yes. yes. But that's not something that usually we would get a choice. At times, we would have three outcomes in phase three, very, very different dimensions, right? Could be one, could be about wealth, one could be about relationship, one could be about financial. Uh, what, as a part of this uh, exercise, uh, or, or this uh, transformational leap, uh, incredible leap program, uh, I'm going to give you a tool, okay. right? Where, uh, and as we speak, you will receive a link on your email. Uh, write down, and it has about six parameters that you put across. Uh, just look at the tool and start answering uh, about these top three outcomes in that tool as you as the tool asks for. Uh, it, it's basically we have developed some science and maths around how to uh, pick up something which uh, you don't know is a priority but should be a priority. Right. So as we speak, there's a link that will come across. Just try to feed in uh, these three outcomes and the reception questions to fit around baseline, the points, and the weightage so and so forth that you uh, give that. Once you're done with that, it will, it will give you an outcome, right? Which we believe from our experience is something that you should pick up. Uh, if you still feel otherwise, you have to pick up something else and this is something else. I'm okay with that, but uh, typically uh, our system doesn't uh, go down. Because again, uh, we take we take a lot of decisions basis today, right? But when you look at the multiple dimensions and the various dimensions of what impact and what actually can have uh, the far forward impact on you, uh, the time to do So go ahead, log into your coaching hub, and then uh, just try to uh, feed in these three outcomes. And let's see what it uh, shows. Sure. Yeah.